What's good, y'all? Welcome back or to the channel. Hey, we got a nice simple video. We are gonna be talking about the reasoning behind me switching from players to Skidoo. As anyone that has ever seen any of my videos on YouTube knows, I am a avid players rider, absolutely love riding players. But just recently last weekend, I decided to make the switch to a Skidoo. And I wanna sit down and talk about my reasoning behind that, just because obviously there's a reason behind everything. And this was such a big change for me, for the channel, and I'm sure for you guys to see me riding a Skidoo. I know like most of you guys probably never saw that coming. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm gonna introduce this sled one more time on the channel. This is my 2022 850 Skidoo Summit 154. Recently sold my 2019 Pro RMK 850 155 for it. Snow checked a 23 Chaos 9R, found out it is gonna be late, and that is how this showed up in my garage. Now that you guys are familiar with the sled, let's get to talking. Why did I switch brands? So I wanna start with the fact that this is the second year in a row I have snow checked the sled, and it has been late. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you would know that last season, I snow checked a 2022 Chaos Matrix slash 850, and I was told December, and then January, and then February, and it finally showed up sometime in March. Basically, at that point, I rode the entire season on my 19 Pro 850 because pretty much I didn't get rid of it because I didn't know if the sled was going to show up with the supply chain and whatnot. And luckily, I didn't get rid of it because otherwise, I would have been sledless for the entire season. Long story short, the sled showed up in March, almost exactly a year after I snow checked it. I went to go look at it at the dealership because I was actually planning on taking it home that day, and it just did not work out. I wasn't getting what I wanted for my sled on trade-in and a whole bunch of other things happened. So it just wasn't meant to be, didn't work out. So I didn't take the sled. I say everything happens for a reason. And I believe in that because a couple weeks later, Polaris released their 2023 snow checks with the 9R for the mountain sled lineup. The good thing I didn't take that sled because I probably would have ended up getting rid of it to get the 9R. So 2023 snow checks come around and obviously I go ahead and order a 9R because like, you know, I didn't get my sled last year. Polaris has a new motor and I want it. So I placed an order on a snow check with high hopes that this year it was gonna be on time before my first trip, which is sometime in December. Well, a couple weeks ago, I talked to the guy I ordered my sled through at the dealership, and he said that the earliest I could expect it to ship is sometime in the beginning of January. And that's the second year in a row my snow check has gotten delayed. And of course, I had high hopes the sled was coming, so I sold off my 19 Pro 850, leaving me sledless. And it put me in a tough situation where if I know I'm not gonna have it for December, and I know I have trips in December, I gotta figure something out. That led me to this right here my 2022 summit 850 154 i was like you know i could just take the money from my 19 pro and go get a 850 chaos like a even an axis chassis or a holdover matrix chassis wouldn't be too bad but it wouldn't be a 9r it wouldn't be something completely different for the channel and pretty much just be a chaos which isn't something crazy different or I could have went and took that money and spent a little bit of it and bought a beater like 11 or 12 Pro to hold me over till the 9R came in. But I also didn't want to do that in case I was stuck on this sled for longer than just a trip or two. It got me to thinking, what's different? What haven't I had before? What haven't I tried? And what is something I want to try? And I've always had an interest in the summits and the free rides. I started looking around and free rides are mad expensive. I was like, ah, there's just no way like I'm gonna fork up 14, 15 grand for a Gen 4 free ride. That's just not gonna happen. So I looked at the next best thing and the next thing I was interested in, which was a summit. And luckily Gen 4 summits are readily available and they're actually a pretty decent price if you do some shopping. I wanted to switch to Skidoo, not because I hate players. I no means hate players, still my favorite snowmobile brand. I'm still gonna cover players, still follow them. And I will still own one because I'm still taking delivery of the 9R when it comes in. It's just a factor of when it actually comes in. I wanted to switch because I want to change things up on the channel. I've always been asked to try a summit. I've always been asked to get a Skidoo on the channel. You guys have been dying to see me on a Skidoo. I think it's about time I deliver on that, make that happen, and see what I think of them for myself. Cause I've ridden Brandon's free ride, I think a handful of two minutes. I did like three wheelies on it and on the third one, I almost flipped backwards and I was like, I am not wrecking your new sled, I'll let you do that. So I handed it back over. So I have really never spent any quality time on a Skidoo to see what I think of it and see if I actually like it or not. I just wanted to do something different. I'm tired of riding the same sled. Sure, like I said, I could have went and bought another Pro with that money, but I'm tired of the Pro. I've had Pros. I've had countless Pro MKs. I've had countless Polarises. It's time for me to switch it up and try something different and not keep doing the same thing, making the same repetitive content over and over again 
with the same exact sleds. It was time to move on and do something different, which is sitting right here. Something I've never experienced before. Something we've never had on the channel. Whole new build process. There's so many different aftermarket options that are OEM and also just pure aftermarket with different companies for these sleds that aren't out for Polaris. There's a lot of different things with this that I want to experience other than experiencing Polaris because I've been through it with Polaris. I've had plenty of them. I know what they're all about. This is foreign territory for me. Obviously, I've never had something like this. I don't know how it rides. I don't know much about these in general, but... I think it's gonna be fun to learn on here and grow. And I think it's a great opportunity for the channel to have the summit on the channel, bring some skidoo guys in that we don't have right now because we are mainly a player's channel. My other thought was like, what if I really like skidoo and I just don't know it yet? So I had to try it. Cause what if like, you know, I've always been a diehard player guy, but what if I hop on this and I'm like, this sled is it. This sled is amazing. I don't know what I've been doing with so many years on players when there is skidoo right here, which is better than players in my eyes. Why was I wasting so much time over there? So I want to just experience something different, see what I think of it, see if I like it. And the cool thing is, is we're going to have this sled and we're also going to have the 9R of the player. So I'm not going to be off of players for too long. And we're going to have both of them here side by side in this garage. We're going to be able to take both of them out, compare them, look at them side by side and see the similarities, see the differences. I'm just excited to be able to see what do I like better about this compared to players? What do I like worse? Who has a better sled for me? It's just a great overall thing for me and for the channel. And it's just overall a great thing for me and the channel to be switching up sled brands. And like I mentioned earlier, it is nothing personal towards Polaris. I still love them just as much as I did the day I sold that Pro and the day I bought this. It will still forever be my favorite brand. And we will have it back on the channel here shortly. Just a matter of time when Polaris can get these sleds out and shipped to us. From the things I've heard from you guys in the recent comments on the videos and my Instagram, TikTok, and whatnot, you guys think I'm going to absolutely love this sled, and I sure hope you guys are right. I am beyond stoked to get on this thing for my first ride of the season coming up here in December. It's going to be an absolute riot to see what this is all about. I want to see if they wheelie like everyone says they do and like you see in all these videos. I want to see how light and nimble it is compared to the Pro. I want to see if I can still throw it around. I want to feel what that E-Tech's about, man. I've never really experienced the A50 E-Tech either. So, whole bunch of new experiences coming to the channel. I think overall, this purchase and me bringing a Skidoo to the channel and me kind of being a Skidoo guy now is a huge plus for not only me, not only for the channel, but for you guys as well. I'm going to make this one short and sweet. I'm going to wrap this one up right here. If you guys like today's video, smash a huge thumbs up on today's video. Comment section below. Voice your opinions on what you think I'm going to love about this slut and what you think I'm not going to like compared to my Polaris's. And like I always say, if you guys are new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.